Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Kodiak Coos. What are we gonna do today? I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need for your own personal 72 hour survival kit. So let's get started. All right, guys, scenario time here. So back, I think in 2016, somewhere around there, could be wrong, a gorilla named Harambe was brutally assassinated. Ever since then, things around the world have not been going too hot. Civil unrest, global war, and global warming. I'm pretty sure that's around too. So in case things get any worse, you're going to want to have yourself a 72-hour survival pack. So let's get to it. Let's see what we need. First things first, I'm going to show you guys how to effectively not necessarily carry water, but have tools you can use to help you purify water. All right, guys, so the first thing I packed in my 72 hour survival kit is a pot. Now, what can you do with a pot? You can do anything from boil water, cook food with it, right? And it can hold stuff. Like three different ways to purify water. First in the chute are these disinfectant pill things I've never used before. Uh, it says, remove the tablet from the foil packaging with a knife or scissors and quickly insert into one quart or liter, one liter, of contaminated water. Allow to react for four hours. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, let's give it a shot. Just did uh, another day on the job site. That looks like four liters, quarts, gallons, whatever it is. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh, there's a little also flap thing. I'm not gonna read that. I don't even know how to read. Okay, here we go. Um, I guess we wait four hours now. I'll see you guys in four hours. Okay, it's been four hours. A really boring four hours, but let's try the water. Uh, it tastes kind of funny, but I think I'll be okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, next method, I may say, that we're gonna use to purify water is a life straw. Now, it does exactly what you think it does. It provides you with life. Sure. Also kind of gross, but it will save your life. Keep it with you. Or don't. It doesn't bother me one bit. All right, so we have water. We are nice and hydrated. Now what do we need? We need shelter. Good thing I brought one. Yes, sir. So in here, we have the Stealth Survival Camping Tent. It's really not called that, but I, I, I call it that because it's a free country. Oh, it's always a pain to get this thing out of the bag. Boom. Well, good thing uh, poop really didn't actually hit the fan because I forgot the, the tent poles to actually hoist the tent up. Um, so with the magic of my editing software, here's what it's supposed to look like. If we could figure out how to open this, that'd be fantastic. Take that, Karen. Ew. Dead slug. Didn't make the journey. Neat. Now, scenario. So you're eating a Taco Bell. So you're eating a Taco Bell. I hate 
Taco Bell. All of a sudden, poop hits the fan. It's the apocalypse. You grab your 72-hour go bag, and all of a sudden you realize, holy moly, I shouldn't have eaten those tacos because I got to go number dose now. Okay, so you grab your 72-hour bag. You're on the road. You're in your vehicular. You're heading to the frontier, or you're headed to your, your ex-wife's house or your ex-mother-in-law's house, wherever you're going, and you realize, holy moly, I shouldn't have eaten those tacos. I got to go number dose now. Well, that's why it's always important to carry some TP with you and not just TP reading material to go with it because that's a thing readers digest sure oh, oh boy oh Japan oh he's absolutely right I hate Taco Bell Hey guys, a really super duper good idea is to always carry a pair of binoculars with you. What can you do with binoculars? Let me show you. Land ho! But it's always a good idea because you can find all sorts of different stuff. Obviously, you can see a lot farther, right? Common sense. So that's something I always like to keep in the old... Uh, bag of Rooney if we're on the go. Another great idea, something that's really, really super duper handy to use is a handsaw, no pun intended. Good one, Kodiak Coos, good and you. So essentially all you do, you unfold her, folding handsaw, boom, you're ready to go. It's super lightweight. Use this thing a lot, really love it. Uh, clips right onto the side of my backpack and essentially can cut, you know, pretty good sized logs with it. And, you know, it's always good to have more firewood. Good and you. All right, guys, another thing you should always bring with you, especially if, you know, poop hits the fan. Um, dang it, why did that dang gorilla have to die? Anyways, another thing you should carry with you is a survival rifle. This is a Ruger 1022. Real easy, lightweight. You can kill a lot of small game with it. All right, so let's say you don't have a 22 or you want to be extra cautious and you require something with perhaps a bigger bark then a 12 gauge should do it. Now, 12 gauges are super universal, not the universe universal, nor the, the production studio. You get the point. You can shoot a variety of different types of loads through this thing. You can hunt, hunt everything from squirrels to bear with it. So it's also pretty ideal for survival. Now this particular model, I don't really suggest, but my hunting shotgun's actually broken out of commission right now. Real serious problem in my life because hunting season's coming up and I need to fix it. But anyways, that's my own problem. So anyways, let's give this one a gander or a look-see or let's just shoot it. There's one and dose. Holy moly, will that wake you up? Also, make sure you use hearing protection. I definitely didn't forget that. All right, guys, so some basic key things to have on you, which it actually works out because I don't really have to put these in my backpack. I can keep them right here on my hip. Hashtag big iron on my hip. Just kidding. I don't have a pistol, but I do have a small knife. So anyways, you guys probably see me carry this around a lot. I love this knife. It does a phenomenal job. May say so myself. Good and you. But it's just a small buck knife made out of carbon steel, um, which is ideal for using ferro rods and stuff like that to make fire. Um, obviously, keep it real sharp, and it usually takes care of me and does a pretty good job. Clips right to my belt, so that's pretty neat. I may say so myself. Now, if you want to upgrade, if you want something more beefy, Kodiak Coos, give me the best dang rootin' tootin', parachutin' something knife you got in your arsenal. Then stay tuned for this. Huzzah. That's a knife. Yes, that is a knife. Now, 
A knife like this, right? I generally like to use a knife like this for splitting wood. It generally does a pretty good job in case you don't want to carry a hatchet with you or an ax because again, we're trying to be considerate of our weight limit, right? Because this is meant for you to be like on the go, poop hits the fan, get out of dodge, right? So you're gonna wanna pack lightweight. So this is cool because both these knives, obviously they just go right on my belt. So it saves me room in the old backpack of Rooney. Food for thought. <laughs> A first aid kit, just in case you get shot up by the Viet Cong or, I don't know, attacked by a giant llama or something. Boom, you're ready to go. You can heal yourself up. Within this kit, we have scissors, tape, this bandage wrap thing, gauze, a big band-aid, and a variety of other things, just in case, like I said, you get into some trouble. Always good to have with you. It's real lightweight, fits in the bag pretty good. So I would say that's pretty neat. <laughs> All right, guys, another really uh, important tool to carry with you is a compass. Now, this isn't like a big boy legit compass, but it's a compass, right? Um, just something to give you a general idea of what direction of travel you're, you're headed, perhaps. Um, so north, south, east, and west, that's good enough for me. Um, maybe later on, I'll make an actual video how to do legit land nav. Haven't done it in a few years, but it's actually really cool. Um, and you'd be surprised to see it's really not that difficult um yes all right guys so you always want to have three different methods to make fire more if you're that legit but for an example we have our waterproof matches fire and of course we have the old ferro rod it's rain and sparks hallelujah and of course you're there we go your basic Bic lighter. Now, honestly, if it came down to it, I would keep like three of these on me because these obviously die. And as much as I love using the old ferro rod and waterproof matches, lighters are obviously a lot easier to handle. They're cheap, effective, affordable, and just do an incredible job anyways. So we're always gonna keep a few of those with us. All right. What do we need now? We need to eat because you need that to survive and we're surviving, or at least I'm explaining to you how to survive if the apocalypse or, you know, Bigfoot takes over the world. Whatever causes the, whatever causes society to collapse. Sure, we'll go with that. So to cook our food, we need propane and propane accessories. My name is Hank Hill and I sell propane and propane accessories. Thanks, Hank Hill. And our little grill thing, you get the point. Now, we could make a fire because I did bring three ways to make a fire. However, we're on the move. Perhaps we don't have a lot of time. We gotta get out of Dodge. The ex-wife's coming for us, whatever it may be. We're gonna use this little propane gas stove heater grill thing to, to cook us up some old grub. Now, what did we bring for grub? Mountain House, Chili Mac. Oh, I hear it. Sounds like a snake. Oh! Okay. Alrighty, looks like she's boiled. Easy does her. Okay, now we wait for this to cool down a little bit and we'll be chowing in no time. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, definitely didn't read how much water to put in here but that looks good i think ew it peed on me okay mix it up ew i don't know what i was thinking these things taste horrible horrible sure um yeah this is disgusting maybe some people like these i do not I think this is pretty, pretty unfortunate, perhaps pretty miserable, not enjoyable to eat, but hey, if you're in a pinch, if poop hits the fan, this is a lightweight option and it's going to keep you alive or maybe not. It's pretty, pretty disgusting. It might actually kill me. Oh. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another fantastic episode of Kodiak Hoops. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you learned something. Make sure you guys let us know what you think in the comments down below. Like the video and, of course, smash that bell. Until next time, have a Kodiak Hoops day. <laughs>